Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture is coming from Matthew 3 verse 12. It reads as follows. His winnowing fork is in his hand and he will clear his threshing floor, gathering his wheat into the barn and burning up the chaff with unquenchable fire. A few years ago, I went through a winnowing, so to speak. God spoke to my heart one day and told me that he was clearing away the chaff in my life. And that was an interesting term, one that God doesn't necessarily use with me very often. So I didn't know what it meant at the time. While in my morning devotionals about a month later, God revealed to me more of what he meant and more of what was happening in my life. I had gone through a situation in a church where perhaps there was some poor behavior and offense and some unrealistic expectations. I basically had to leave that church and I lost a big community with it, which really stunk. Those were some lonely days and honestly, it just didn't seem right or fair. I believed wholeheartedly that I was following God's will for me, even though some people didn't agree. It felt like I was a victim of that situation, which just didn't feel right or fair. But then God gave me this scripture and gave me that word. He was clearing away the chaff in my life. God showed me that all of that stuff with that church was really his allowing. I wouldn't be able to take a lot of those same people into the next season God was bringing me into. What's interesting is that it wasn't just those church doors that closed, but other doors outside of the church. Relationships I had been in for a very long time, God seemed to be closing those doors as well. God was winnowing my life and my connections. He wanted me to keep the good stuff, the wheat, but he did want to burn off the chaff and the things that could possibly hold me back moving forward. Have you ever been through your own winnowing where it just seems as though door after door after door closes in areas such as relationships or finances or geography or friends? It's painful, it doesn't seem to make sense at the time, and you want out of it, and you actually think of ways to get out of it or to try to appease or force things to make it right. But can I challenge you not to fight it? Don't fight against the direction of God's winnowing fork, of God's will and plans for your life. Don't fight that winnow. Winnowing is a process by which chaff is separated from grain so that the grain can be used for nourishment and good things. It's also a process to remove pests from grain. Even though it's painful, even though it might not make sense at the time, it's for your good, it's good. God later told me in that same devotional time that sometimes he takes things away so that when he gives it back, we appreciate it that much more. Meaning perhaps he took this community away so that when he gave me the next community, I would appreciate it and value it even more. And because of what happened and because of how I handled it and trusted him in the situation, God told me he could trust me. He could trust me with trouble and trust me not to retaliate or seek vengeance, but to just simply step back and trust him in the process. And I've learned that if God can trust you with trouble, he can most certainly trust you with blessings. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, winnowing is hard. It's painful. It's hard to be refined. It's hard to be put in the fire and be shaped and refined and remolded. Lord, that can be very painful, but Lord, it is very good for us and help us to remember that it is good for us and that you don't have anything bad for us. You would not take something away or refine us in some way if it wasn't for our good, that you always have our best interest at heart and you know what you're doing, Lord. We recognize that the seasons that have been winnowed, Lord, maybe the people in them weren't necessarily bad, but just that season has closed. So we bless them in Jesus name and we thank you God that you have new things for us new seasons new people new opportunities Lord and you are moving us forward help us to always keep our eyes on you to trust you and to surrender to your process God which is always for our good we give you the glory God in Jesus name thank you guys so much for spending this time with me if you enjoyed this devotional be sure to subscribe to my channel for these daily devotionals I will see you guys next time. God bless you. Have a great day.